Helen of Alexandria, also known as Hero of Alexandria, was a Greek mathematician and engineer in the city of Alexandria in Roman Egypt in the first century. His works are representative of scientific tradition of his era, and he was possibly the greatest experimenter of antiquity. Although much of his original writings and designs had been lost, his preserved works from Heron's formula for calculation of the area of a triangle using only the lengths of its sides, to the steam power device, the Odipi, a simple bladeless radial steam turbine, indicate his outstanding ingenuity, influence, and inventions. One of amazing designs of Helen of Alexandria was automated temple doors, which were designed to be automatically opened by setting on or starting the altar fire of temple and also to be automatically closed by extinguishing the altar fire. This was novel for its time and possibly miraculous for its spectators. Anyway, doesn't this look strange? Light a fire away from a door and the door opens. Extinguish the fire and the door closes. Definitely it is awesome and the mechanism behind it seems to be even more awesome. But what was the mechanism and science behind it? For such automated temple doors, there was a hidden mechanism beneath the temple. By starting the altar fire of temple, fire's heat would increase the temperature of the gas inside the vessel beneath the fire. And based on direct proportionality between pressure and thermodynamic temperature of gases, or Hamilton gave Sachs gas law, this would result in increase of gas pressure. Then pressurized gas would push a liquid from its initial vessel to another vessel, making the other vessel heavier. Then the increase of weight of the other vessel would result in pulling the ropes attached to the door and the door would open. On the reverse side, by extinguishing the altar fire of temple, heat would cease, the temperature of the gas would decrease, the pressure of the gas would decrease, the displaced liquid would be sucked back into its initial vessel, the other vessel would become lighter and a well-balanced counterweight would pull the ropes attached to the door in the opposite direction to close the door. Anyway, here we can see that what Heron's automatic door was, how it worked by utilizing Hamilton gave Sachs, Gasco, and other phenomena, and how novel it was for its time. This is interesting, isn't it? 